Hey there, this is Julie Larson with Cloud Bloomers Web Design and in this video I'm going to show you how to upload a video to YouTube and I'm also going to show you how to optimize that video for YouTube. And what I mean by optimize is how to add the keywords that you want to target into the video title tag or the title and then the description and then the tags so that it will hopefully be found by people who are looking what you are promoting on YouTube and Google and the other search engines. So first of all, you need to have the video to upload. If you have it on your computer already, then, then we'll just upload it from your computer. Otherwise, you may have to email it to yourself from the device that you recorded it on. In this case, I've got a client, Wit, from WitFit, who sent me a video and he emailed it to me so I'm going to download it and I'm going to save it to my computer there it is right there I am going to actually just drag it over to my desktop so that I'll, I can easily find it and then we are going to sign out of my account because we want to upload it to WIT's account so I'm going to sign out here I'm going to come over and go to youtube.com and the sign in here now let me just show you real quick if I were to sign into my own account it's going to ask me a couple things so let me just show you that alright so if I were uploading a video to my YouTube channel for Cloud Bloomers I would use YouTube as Cloud Bloomers. If I were uploading it to a personal YouTube channel I would click on here. So because we want to upload it to a, a for a business purposes I would choose my business YouTube channel. Alright now again let me get out of here since I don't want to upload it to mine I want to upload it to Wit's YouTube channel. Now Wit does not have two YouTube YouTube channels so it's just gonna take us right into his when once we log in there okay now over here if I click on this little arrow here that opens up all this and I can kinda take a moment here and look at Wits channel by clicking on my channel and I had uploaded one a little bit earlier today you can see that he's got three videos that have been uploaded okay and then we're gonna come over here to the video manager and I'm gonna click over on this upload button select files to upload here it is right here so it's uploading and depending on the length of your video will determine how long it takes to upload and then once it's uploaded then it has to process the video as well. So while that is happening we're going to go ahead and optimize it. What I've done is I've prepared what I want to optimize it for and the keyword we're going to optimize for is Certified Personal Trainer Sarasota. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll take this first line, this is going to be the title and come back over here get rid of that title and then I'm gonna paste that in there you probably would just start typing it in there okay so you only wanna optimize the video for one possibly two keywords at the most so this is the keyword we're targeting I've added a second keyword fitness training Sarasota and then I always add the website name after it all just uh, so that it's there for people. The second thing that we're going to do is do the description. Now I can take this here, this little corner in the right, and drag that down to make some more room. And I'm going to copy this description that I've already prepared. And again, you'll probably just type it in there and then paste it in there. Now the thing that I want you to pay attention to is that when you the very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add a link to wherever you want them to go 
after they've watched the video. In this case, I want them to go to WIT's site and to the contact page. Uh, if you were embedding this video in a blog post, you would probably come back and edit this and have the, the link go to that blog post. All right. So I've got, in this case, I've got WIT's uh, link there at the beginning, and then I've also added it here at the bottom. Now, in order for it to be clickable, you have to add the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. You don't want to just put www and then put the, the link there because then it won't be clickable. And it's all about making it easier for people to come to your site. So you want to make it clickable. So now you'll notice that I've got the keyword in the title and I've got it in the description. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and put the keywords in the tags. So I'm going to copy this one and then paste it in here. The keywords are not um, seen by anybody else. They're just here when you're editing and you're putting them in. So you can put as many keywords in as you like. I just like to put as many in that are relevant to the video that I'm posting. Okay, so I'm going to add Wit, his name, just in case anybody is searching for him. And then I'm going to add Wit Fit by itself without the uh, dot com and the tags. All right, so we've got those there. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to just check and make sure that we've got all of our information in here. So we're on the basic information section right now and you have choices as to whether you want your video to be seen by everyone so you, then you would make it public. You can have an unlisted video which means that only people with the link will be able to see that video but it won't be uh, searchable. And then you've got private where they, they've they got the link and I think they also have to sign in or something like that. But in this case we want the world to see it so we're going to have it as public. You also need to choose a category and you're going to choose the category that is most closely related to the video. It automatically generated sports for, for uh, WIT, WIT's video and that's probably the closest one so we'll just leave it at that one. Next we're going to come over, oh before I do anything else I want to save and then next I want to come over to the advanced settings. Over here you have some other choices. Now I leave these all alone. I leave them the way they come up by default. You can choose to only allow comments that are approved and that's a personal preference. I like to leave all simply because um, that way it encourages people to to go ahead and leave a comment and even if they leave a negative comment that's okay because it's engaging and uh, I can go in there and reply to them and imply in a nice way and and you know it, re it reflects on you and your business how you reply so not so much what they say but how you respond or reply to that. So that's a personal preference. I leave these all the same here and then I also like to include the video location which it brings the map over to Sarasota, Florida and then the recording date you can choose today or you can come over here. I think Wit recorded this maybe last week so I'll save that there and I go ahead and save the changes. So now we've got the video all posted and everything. It looks like it might be done processing. Let me go ahead and just click on the link and see it. Okay, I paused it. So the video is there. Here's the title that's coming up. And if you come over here to the description, you can see because we included the HTTP, these links are now clickable so somebody can go right over to WIT's contact page. Alright, so now let's just check and see if it's showing up on his channel yet. Okay, there it is. So there you have it. If you have any questions or need any help with this, let me know. 
Hope that was helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.